All right, C++ execution model in five minutes. Expressions. An expression is a sequence of operators and operands that specifies a computation. Sub-expressions are part of larger expressions. Full expressions are not sub-expressions. Some examples here, you can go look at them later. <laughs> Evaluation of an expression includes value computations and the initiation of side effects. Side effects change the execution environment, including reading a volatile object or modifying any object, calling a library I.O. function, or calling a function that does any of the above. Value computations are pure. Completion of, an, of the execution of an evaluation does not imply completion of its side effects, only the initiation of its side effects. Sequence before. Any, given any two evaluations, A and B, if A is sequenced before B, then the execution of A shall precede the execution of B. Sequence before relation is asymmetric. So if A is sequenced before B, it does not imply that B is sequenced before A. It's transitive. If A is sequenced before B and B is sequenced before C, then A is sequenced before C and pairwise. Oh, nope, that was, yeah. If A and B are unsequenced, then A is not sequenced before B, and B is not sequenced before A. That suggests that they might be interleaved. If A and B are indeterminately sequenced, then either A is sequenced before B, or B is sequenced before A, but is unspecified which. This means that they are not interleaved. When calling a function f, Every expression in the body of f is sequenced after the value computations and side effects associated with the argument expressions of the function, so like a plus b here, and the expression designating the function, in this case, like whatever the expression is that gives you the callable thing. The expression designating the function is sequenced before the argument expressions. The value computations and side effects of an argument expression is indeterminately sequenced with all other argument expressions. This is newish in C++ 17. Every other evaluation with, within f and every evaluation not within f are indeterminately sequenced. This is the part that we were not sure about on dinner, or the last part here. The value computations and side effects of the operands to the following operators are sequenced right to left. And for all other binary operators, with excluding uh, ampersand, ampersand, and or, or, the value computations, but not the side effect, are, un are, un are sequenced before uh, the uh, operator evaluation, but not uh, before, yeah, but the side effects are not. Given any two evaluations, A and B, if A synchronizes with B, then the side effects of A are seen by B. This is asymmetric. A synchronizes with B does not apply that B synchronizes with A. There are three ways to achieve this. Uh, atomic acquire release semantics, mutex lock and join semantics, and thread creation and joining. Given any two evaluations A and B, if A happens before B, then A is sequenced before B, or A synchronizes with B, or for some evaluation X, A happens before X, and X happens before B. A happens before B does not imply that the execution of A actually happens before the execution of B completes, and the execution of A completing before the execution of B completes does not imply that A happens before B. The terminology is slightly confusing, I know. Happens before describes arbitrary concatenations of sequence before and synchronizes with. So happens before can, is concatenations of sequence, uh, sequence before relations and synchronized with relations. And that is the C++ execution model in five minutes. Any questions? Oh, I should say, um, with, if, you, if you think about memory order consume, all of this is inf infinitely more complex and does not fit in within five minutes. Yeah.